Okay, this time we're going to use the uh, graph paper to do the uh, similar thing. So we're going to make everything transparent. So we don't want to do the same thing all the time. So this time, uh, let me create five by five boxes. Right. Again, do it lightly. And let's see if we can create a vanishing point. Uh, maybe a little close this time. Then uh, let's say I want to end the structure about this much because there's a nice line out there. So I thought that might be an easy point for us to connect. Okay. All right. And next thing you want to do, I'm going to create upside down cone, but not without uh, not using the uh, curve. Instead, we're going to be using, let's say, angles, right? Okay, All right. so I'm going to use middle, middle, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start connecting this, right? So try to get to... Uh, the circle as close as possible. Then go to there and connect. Go to the middle part and connect. Right. Then go to middle parts, middle, and connect. Middle part, middle part. Connect and connect. So that's uh, another way you can make the circle more comfortably. So each point, if you can connect, then that's going to be parts that you can actually uh, make it into different value. Actually, later you can help to design something better so some parts you're not gonna see if I stop there then actually you can see the cone shape upside down but the point is we want to show everything right so I'm gonna start showing here that's connects to vanish point and so assuming that everything is transparent so all these lines falling into there. If by any chance other vanishing lines uh, keeps bothering you, you simply you can erase them. Okay? So this whole thing goes to here. So this is it. It could be just going in. It could be coming out. So either way, this works fine. Okay? So again, vanishing point, horizon line that indicates your eye level. 